Part B asks to evaluate the integral from 3 to 5 of 2 of 2 times f prime of x plus 4 dx. So this is going to use a fundamental theorem of calculus where if we take the the area underneath the derivative function, it's going to be the displacement on the original function. It's important to recognize that it's the we're asked to evaluate the integral of f prime, and we've been given the graph of f. So we want the displacement on the graph of f. So when I write this out, I'm going to end up with the area under the graph of 2f prime of x dx okay, plus the area under the graph of y equals 4. Okay, I'm going to do the first part here. 2, and this becomes then 2 times. Now again, we, we want the area under f prime, which is going to be the displacement on f. So this is going to be the displacement on f from 3 to 5, which is going to be f of 5 minus f of 3. And I'm going to get this value right from the f graph. So I can look at this graph here, and I'm going to finish this portion off. f of 5, when I take a look at the graph, the so f value of 5 is equal to 0 minus the f value at x equals 3. Well, they gave us the f value as 3 minus root 5. So it's going to be 3 minus root 5. And that's going to be that portion there. And then to that, we're going to add, well, we're going to anti-differentiate this to 4x. And it's the area from 3 to 5. Working that out, this is going to be 20 minus 12 is going to be the displacement on that graph. So calculating this all out, we get 2 times negative 3 is going to be negative 6. We get negative 6, and be careful of the signs here. So we get negative 6. That's a double negative, so it's going to be plus. 2 root 5 plus, uh, so it's going to be negative 6 here, plus 8. And combining like terms, I end up with 2 plus 2 root 5 is going to be the value of that integral.